Great eyes. Heidi. <laughs> donut. Now, a Christmas donut and granada or pomegranate is probably not actually the definition of a balanced breakfast, but Grandma picked up special donuts for the boys last night, and so we're getting that as a breakfast treat today. You excited? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now get story time. Now get story time. That's my donut. That's your donut. What's your donut? It's green. Wow. Yeah. Circle. Like a circle, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now eat it? Yes, you can eat it. Look tasty. Look tasty. Okay. For the cat, the wintry forest was not only cold, but also dangerous and unfriendly. Owls and foxes were everywhere, ready to pounce in on him. So far, he had always managed to hide in time. Once he had had a home, a warm home with soft chairs and fresh... Now, recently I've gotten a number of questions about how much time school takes on a daily basis. So in this vlog, I'm going to have a focus on trying to jot down um, the time I start and the time I end different of our little school sessions so I can let you guys know how much time it takes. So for our morning story time session, uh, I have it written down that we spent about 40 minutes on our books. And I can show you what we read today. Morning time, we did our card and we talked about today was the shepherds. The shepherds and their role in the Christmas story. It was December 8th. I already hung up the card. So next, tomorrow we get to do number 9 and talk about bells. And then from our sunlight schedule for today, we read uh, one poem from Animals, Animals. And I actually ended up reading about three different page spreads worth of poems because they requested more. That's great. We can always reread. We're kind of having a review week for Beautiful Mundo and just reading through different books from our first nine weeks with the curriculum. Decided it was a good time to have a little bit of a review week. So this is one of our books are reviewing this week, De la Cabeza a los Pies, which is a great one for body parts in Spanish. This was a Christmas read for today from the library, The Christmas Cat. And we read a couple pages from Things People Do, Scheduled in Sunlight. Not this one, we read The Fire Department, which the boys loved. Of course, bomberos or firefighters are always, you know, a very, very intriguing job to little ones. First responders, rescuing people, saving lives. We also read about being a pilot. And we read the very last book in the very last story in this book. So we're gonna get to start a new one next time. And this one made me tear up. The Robber and the Monk. It was about a monk whose greatest treasure is a book, a very, very special book, um, which you can imagine what that book is. <laughs> and a robber steals it from him. He forgives the robber, and it's a, it was a great little story. Definitely had me choke, choked up a bit, and that's the very end of that book. Then I also had another really short Christmas read, Dream Snow, from our collection of Christmas books. Now I'm going to cover up something, or I'm going to take one away. You're going to have to tell me what's missing. Wait, it's not ready yet. Oh, it's not ready yet? Uh, You're trying to make it a little longer? Yeah, for it to make It's a long pattern. Tricky. Trickier, because it's longer? Yeah. Okay. All right. Fill the ball space. Close your eyes. Okay. I'm going to take one shape out. I'll put a card where it is. Okay. Tell me, Cyrus, what is missing here? Open your eyes. What's missing? What shape should go there? Yes, a trapezoid. Try it. Because I did it. Because you did it, yeah. Easy mm -hmm. one. It's an easy one, yeah, very. Sierra tus ojos. I'll put a little card where something, okay. Tell me what is missing. Yeah, it's a triangle. Sometimes, sometimes the draw. Okay, don't look at you. I don't need to look at you. You don't want me to look at you right now? What are you doing? Oh, you're putting on quite in the dirt? Okay. You know, if you say don't look at me, then I'm probably going to look at you. Look. <laughs> Got? Mm -hmm. 
Ah, this is no. ah. Ah, no. Ah, mm. An. An. The. The. Hmm. This is starts with a straight line. But yeah. B. B. E. D. Bed. Bed. The ox got on the bed. Do you feel like that's a good idea? Mm. To have an ox on your bed, I would not like that. Oh, 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 man. Let's read this. The ox. G Got what? Ah. That's eh. Wet. 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 The ox got wet. No, no, no. For he cannot have any germs. Oh, because it says he's getting all clean, but he's also getting water all over the floor. Yeah, but but they can use a towel for it. Yeah. You can't escape from Glenn? Yeah. He's too fast. Because he, he's sneaking out from me from trees. Then Whoa. he comes back to where I'm going. Mm-hmm. Glenn. Are you a good planner, Glenn? Are you a good planner, Glenn? No, oh, we stand on a flat place to find a stick, Glenn. So as far as how much time we actually spent sitting down at the table doing schoolwork this morning, it was about 50, 55 minutes. The sit down time is when we're doing our math you see, kindergarten math with confidence, uh, all about reading, and a couple other smaller workbooks he has, like the developing the early learner workbook, some tracing of letters, um, which 50 to 55 minutes I feel like sounds long, but also you have to keep in mind that this is homeschool style, interruption style. Um, like today it was the little brother was filling up containers with water and we had to investigate why he was doing that. Um, you know, so it, it adds up, I guess, but that does, it sounds long, but I feel like the time flies by. Um, and now we're at the park. We've actually been here for a while already. The boys are already pretty sweaty and red faced. Um, they've been biking around. So I, wasn't really getting video because I'm trying to like keep my eye on one, keep my eye on the other. But now they're playing on the playground, getting in our morning outdoors time. Today is not a day that I have to go to um, go do tutoring, so we do have a little bit more of a laid back schedule today. Hey, bud, what you doing? I found some leaves for Glenn. Oh. Glenn, I found the leaves for you. Um, I'm so sure he'll be super Daddy excited. Leaves. And a oh wow. Awesome. And I found you some sticks. One is hey. so special, Mama. Fire. Special stick? Which one's Fire. the most special? Fire. Fire. All right. We just wrapped up lunch, which was leftover pasta from dinner last night, paired with Mr. Rogers. Pretty much an unbeatable combo. Uh, just before lunch, um, when the boys were just sitting down before I served them, we went through our gentle and classical cards for primer and for nature right now so just went through so i would say that that takes maybe five minutes none of these are new cards to us today they are review we're on unit 25 of primer but the one thing i did swap was this is supposed to be unit 32 of primer when we're learning about the nutcracker tchaikovsky's the nutcracker um, i swapped that into this week so we'll have to do um, the other, uh, like our artist Kandinsky on another week later, but I just could not resist doing the Nutcracker during the Christmas season. So now the boys are playing with the hose outside and I'm going to be working, trying to get some housework done, like vacuuming, cleaning floors, <laughs> glamorous stuff like that. Is it good? This? Uh, yeah, that's really nice. Wait, I don't want it inside. Um, it does, look, it does go inside a little bit. Look what? Line goes inside a bit. Put them. Rachel. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You may not got the Rachel. Len. But he got a good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Len, there you go. Mm -hmm. And I got. And here's the small letters, Mama. Here's the small letters. Yes. And small letters of G. This one is different letters. Um, those are 
the same letters, but those are the lowercase. The lowercase letters, the small letters, and then on the other side we have the uppercase, the big letters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. both I like to not do the big letters because they make space. No. <laughs> but look, well, what comes next? Yeah. Let me go. To tiger. Okay, to tiger. So sometimes in the afternoon, <laughs> we will do some schoolwork, like we'll do our yamitas, or we'll do a little bit of reading, or some kind of activity page. But today, he's been really into making schoolwork for his little brother. This is what he calls it, as he is copying out the alphabet and copying out numbers. And what do you want Glenn to do with these? Say it. Oh, so you're gonna like use these to teach him? And make a scavenger hunt. Oh, a scavenger hunt of letters? Yeah. That would be cool. Like find all the letters. And I'm gonna make something uh, like every day mm -hmm. count down to Christmas. Oh, you're gonna make a countdown to Christmas yeah. too? Yeah. Oh. No, for Glenn. For Glenn, that would be sweet. You really. Today is going to be delicious. It's a skillet. Uh, I ground sausage uh, with some onions, which the sausage is just <laughs> ground pork. And I put in um, the type of spices for breakfast sausage, kind of flavor, sage and thyme. And fill it more, make it nice and flavorful. Then put in potatoes, which I, to make this, I like to bake my potatoes first because otherwise, you know, actually cooking potatoes in the skillet takes forever. So I'm just gonna bake in the oven. And then what I'm going to pour over the top of it, once it's all ready, is going to be queso. Like, um, it's supposed to be a jalapeno queso. Right now, I haven't started cooking this yet because I'll cook it right at the end. Um, but I was not able to get jalapenos, so I got pepperoncinis instead. It's not the same, but it's actually tasted pretty good. Um, so I've been using these for a while because that's the jar that I have. But pepperoncinis... Fry them in butter, put in a little bit of flour, milk, shred some cheese in for some DIY queso. <laughs> and top that on top of my potatoes and meat. And it's super delicious. So we keep wanting to go to the beach in the evening, but it's been rainy season, which means every evening it is raining. So tonight we are going to, the boys are in the bath right now. We are going to do a Christmas movie tonight. I've chopped up apples for our bedtime snack. Christmas movie yet to be determined, uh, but we'll find one. There's a lot of good ones. What are your favorite Christmas movies to watch with your kids? Let me know, because by the time this post, we'll still have some days till Christmas. And I'll be seeing you.